Good morning, social studies buddies. Happy Tuesday, March 9th. We're going to start our second day of world religions, but I do want to make an announcement. If you have any missing work, it should be turned in by the end of school tomorrow, Wednesday, March 10th, because I have to turn my grades in on Thursday first thing. Friday is a teacher work day. So anything for quarter three, any tests, any missing work, anything you see is a 50%, you may turn in for almost full credit. Today, we are going to have a discussion during Zoom about the Buddhism activities from yesterday. I want to take some time to go over the Judaism activities for today. So you're going to make a copy um, of this activity, and you're going to use the Google Slides and the video links below, no website this time, to answer all of the questions. You're going to do the Google Slides section, which kind of gives us some demographics, basic information. I'll go over that in a minute. On your own, you watch a short video about Abraham and Sarah and how Moses and Passover took place. We learned some of this in Egypt. And then lastly, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict will be explained. Um, good notes, good videos, excellent slideshow today. So let me kind of show you... Um, if anybody recognizes any of these symbols, we will talk about these and discuss these on Wednesday. Judaism is the smallest of the five major religions. It has less than 20 million followers. That's less than 1% of the world's population mathematically. However, Judaism does have an important role in Christianity and Islam and world history. So, um, mostly people of the Jewish faith are located in the Middle East. Um, Israel is a Jewish country that was founded after World War II. That's what the Israeli-Palestine con conflict video talks about. Um, most Jews live in Israel. Um, about six million live in the United States and then several million in Europe. Um, Judaism is important for many, many reasons, but one thing they're known for is being the first monotheistic religion. Um, it was found on the holy book, the teachings of the Torah, which is, it, some people call it the Hebrew Bible, but I don't like to call it that. People have said they don't like that comparison when I've used it in class, but it is, it, it's, a, it's a holy book similar to the Vedas, the Quran, or, you know, a holy book of any Abrahamic religion. Um... Abraham is considered the father of Judaism, and what you're going to learn the story of um, the story of Abraham and Sarah that kind of gets into some of that story in a little bit more detail than I can. The main beliefs of Judaism, and again, I'm making a big generalization here, but it's this idea that Moses led the Hebrew people from bondage and slavery out of Egypt into a promised land. Kind of like we saw in the movie, um, The Prince of Egypt, Moses took the people out, um, and you'll hear that story again in the story of Passover, but the Jewish people are still waiting for their Savior, or their Messiah, whereas the Christian people, or the Muslim people, Christians believe that Jesus was sent to save the Christian people. People of the Islamic faith believe that Muhammad was sent by God. People of the Jewish faith are still waiting for God to send their Savior, and that's one of the main distinctions on this branch of religions. Um, but really, they focus on one God. Um, there are some similarities between Christianity and Judaism. We'll discuss those as a class on Wednesday. Um, Again, this kind of hits you with the main idea. Jews believe that the Messiah has not yet come to earth and that God will soon send one to them. Um, we're going to talk about Israel as a class, and then we'll talk about Jerusalem as a class. Uh, the Promises documentary does not work, so do not try to watch it. The only videos you're responsible for watching today are the story of Abraham and Sarah, the story of Moses and Passover, and the Israeli Palestinian conflict explained. Tomorrow, you will turn this set of notes in for an informal grade, and this will be your last grade for fourth quarter. Um, good luck. Email Mr. O'Neill questions. Put them in the chat. Stay in the Zoom. If you have left the Zoom and you have a question, please return, and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Remember, you will have a quiz on Monday on all five major religions. Love you. Bye-bye.